double header, okay? Um, I don't know. I just decided I because I've broken my my toe, can't really do anything else. I just thought, sod it, let's do another stream. Um, so yeah, I'm here. Um, are we still? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my internet. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I think I'm live, apparently. Hi, I don't know who you are at the moment because basically I've got no uh, interweb at the moment on the... Uh, the, uh, the, the, PC, the PC's playing up, I, th I believe. Um, so, yeah. Um, don't worry about the bing noise in the back. Uh, right, where are we? Live now? Yes, we are live. Weekend double header part one. Yes! That was a quick thought of what the hell I'm going to call it. Um, right. Where are we? How you all doing? Sorry, everything will start to come up in a minute. It's just my PC, I don't know what's going on with it, is really, 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 really slow at the moment today. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for it all to catch up and... The tablet is starting to go absolutely nuts because I haven't had it on for about three days. So, um, yeah, hi everyone. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for. Oh, there we go. We've got a stream. Where is the it? The tablet is starting to go absolutely. Uh, that one. That's what I want. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with everything. Hi, Bradley. Hi, Jilly, bad mother. Um, hi, Jack. Oh, blimey. That's a bit of a rush again. Excuse the Facebook Messenger. Um, it's all going thing. I hope you can all see the stream well. Um, it's just for some strange reason my PC doesn't look very well. Um, okay, let me just get started on. Hi, Train Spot. Hi, Nathan. Thank you very much. Hi, AJ. Open the PC, kick the hamster, and replace the cover. That is a bloody good idea. I wish I could do that. As you can hear the noise in the background, my tablet's catching up with the last couple of days. Right, so why am I doing a stream on a Saturday? Don't know, like I said, broken my toe, so can't really do anything. And, um, right, I don't know if this is Russ Ignored. Russ Ignored will come into it, yes, Russ Ignored will come into it. Um, I don't know if this is... Right, hopefully we should be roughly about up to date. I don't know if this live now thing is going to keep popping on or off tonight. So, yeah, give him some cheese. I'll give him some in. I'll tell you what I will do, though, just as a backup. Um, let me just set us up on a route for something, for some strange reason. Um... Gilly. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know a few people with, with the name Gilly, and they've got no, it's Gilly. It's like Gillingham, not Gillingham, sort of thing. Um, I know a few people like that. Uh, okay, let's just set up something on the thingy, and I'm going to get my laptop because um, I think there's something wrong with the PC, and I'll, I'll power down the PC and sort that out tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so we're going to pop in the timetable. Um, and it's going to be. We're not going to have rain. We're going to have summer. A little bit of rain. A little bit of that. And I'll be standing around... What would you say? Middlesbrough? At what time? About... Just about ten past eight in the morning. See what comes through. So, while that's running... I will try... Yeah, I've got so much to... Uh, to catch up on at the moment um right let me go and get my laptop and the other um the power pack for it because i'm going to power this pc down it's not it's not behaving right it just actually it might even well i'd have thought if it's if it's my internet connection um it would have basically see i'm always about nearly two minutes a minute and a bit behind so i'm just wondering if it's if it's just trying to catch up I should leave it like that for the time being. So yeah, okay. So okay, don't worry about that. 
Right. Okay. Snow on the chopper. Well, actually, having said that, we're here now, but we're not going to do that. Right, it's still... No. No. I'll let it... I'm going to sit back. What have we got? I'm going to get the laptop out because I can't keep doing this. Uh... I've just got so many problems with the PC at the moment. I'm just going to go and get the laptop to set that up. It's two seconds. There should be some stuff come through Middlesbrough in a minute anyway. I'm just running in between the other room to get the laptop. So you might hear me cut out. There's a power supply. There's a laptop even. Try not to put the microphone out of the controller. Just... It's something that... I installed something on my PC and um, basically it was said, oh, do you want to put this on there instead? I said, no, and it installed it on there anyway. And then I had to go and uninstall it and it's just played up ever since. So, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, you've been playing with it too much, Bradley. You know, you've got to, you've got to give it a rest every now and then. Okay, you just, you know, too much playing with it and it just goes a bit of a sore, you know, that don't work properly. You should know this by now. You're old enough. <laughs> oh, dear. If ever that was a weird one that people just coming in listening to him. What's he going on about? <laughs> that would be it. Right. Right, laptop is just being switched on now. <sighs> if not, I'll just probably have to... I don't know if the... Uh, all the... Um, uh, where are we? Let's try. I'll just kind of quit on the YouTube app on the thingy. I might have to do that. Um, right. So, hi everyone. Your current live streams. Well, let's click that up. That pretty well. So that's pretty good. Well, no, it's the PC. Just definitely the PC. Because. Uh, I'm reading all your comments now. Oh god, not a virus. Uh, 15 jacks for that for me, it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> virus. He lives in Dorset, it's not exactly an easy commute. Uh, streamer for Dovetail. Nah, you're alright. Yeah, Roan, Roan, is it Roan? Roan with, with us a couple of weeks ago. Right, I'm just going to shut the PC down. It's been acting strange since I've done it, so it might be that the PC needs to shut down again. Um, I'll run a scanner on it tomorrow morning. So I've got the laptop up now for the time being. How are you guys doing anyway? I know I've been speaking to you over the last couple of days on... Um, um, what was I speaking to you on? Discord as well. So, yeah. Whew. Right, okay. So, what are we doing tonight? Uh, we'll start off. We're going to do the 6E. What was it I was doing this morning? This afternoon? And I got waylaid by the, uh, what you call it, chat. I got waylaid by, um, oh, what's that silly thing on the, uh, why is it that whenever you want to get anything done, Windows, Microsoft, go away! God's sake! Oh, Jesus Christ! Hold on. Update on the laptop. It's like, what's a password? I really have. To. Oh, thank fuck for that. Just go away. Oh, why is it doing this? Right, so we're going to do... Oh, go... Services. What? Why has this decided to come up? Hold on a minute. I've just signed in. Right, let's get it. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, 
Do you want if you want time on in the future help you continue that you do leave with switch device? No I'm just click no, right? What is wrong with this? Uh, um, oh, I can't spell right. Right, so I'm going to sign the. So basically, Windows, my Windows on the laptop has said, um, basically, you need to put in your password in that, and uh, basically, uh, it's wrong, even though it's my right password. This is the laptop, which has not been on for the last couple of days. So, um, yeah, I'm um, like, okay, so technology fell this evening. So it looks as though everything's going to be on the laptop. Not the laptop, the, uh, what do they call this thing? The, um, uh, the, uh, the thingy. Don't test Nightbot because Nightbot will probably piss you off. So um, yeah, um, uh, let's just sign out. <sighs> right. So you're going to do six Echo O for Scunthorpe the Lackenby, but um, we're going to have. It's not going to be a winter blizzard. It's going to be cold though. The clouds going to be down a bit. Yeah, be careful with Nightbot. Um. Right. Uh, let's get going. Six, six. Uh, well, we no, we did scan sort the lack and be before, didn't we? That's the steel train, isn't it? Bring this train into service. Followed by running empties to re up to Redmire as far as the. Oh no, we'll do that one. Oh no. Aha! Oh, I don't really want to do it. Oh, Firefox. Ugh. Um. Uh. uh. Dalziel de Lackenby. Empty steel trains. No, we did that the other day. Redmire to Tizia. Take over this limestone train at Eagles Cliff. To just... Ah, sod it. Why not? Let's do this one. I haven't done it. 10.50. Oh, Firefox has now decided to update as well as Steam. So I will eventually get the, the, the thing going on the on the laptop. I was looking at new PCs anyway. So the only problem is I've got to move the uh, 16 gig, nearly 20 gigs worth of photos and raw photographs off this uh, this PC, the old PC, um, yeah. Right. So, did anyone else watch the um, DTG stream? Right. Okay. So, it's not that one. Oh, that's a window. Where's the door? Oh, there it is. It's not that one either. Okay. So basically, apparently, the DTG's uh, Matt said that some of the some of the class 20s have the dud horn sample on them it's certain numbers so 
Yeah, that'll be interesting. Oh, I've got to get up again anyway. Why is Discord loading? It shouldn't be. Um, right, let's put her in. Um, that is awesome. If you leave, if you leave the um, this on for a while, it takes ages to uh, to turn off. Also, you've got the old sight heat adjuster. Heat, seat adjuster, sorry. Okay, that's um, yeah. I didn't know that one. So I'm now sat higher. Actually, that's a little bit too high. Sorry. I love the sound effects. It's that. It's that. The, the little details like that, which is really good. It's good that Alan Alan Thompson turned up in the uh, in the stream today as well. I don't know. They said it's certain numbers. They haven't said what numbers it was. So um, yeah. Slipping on, I come on, get back in there. Why is this cool on? I don't want this cool on. go right okay okay well, I probably should have said I'll be on at 8 o'clock shouldn't I really live stream at 8 yeah I'm surprised that he actually liked it to be honest right Okay, so you literally got the live chat up now, so yeah. Right. So I can't see Soddle. Oh, loaded. Finally, a loaded train. Okay, Jack, that's cool. Hi, Wing. No, it's not Sunday. It's a weekend doubleheader. Basically, it's uh, one today and one tomorrow. I've decided. Welcome to the stream, anyway. Um, it's a bit cold in here. Let's get some heat on. Hold on, we've got train heat, haven't we? That didn't make you jump. Yeah, I, I, I must admit, I do like the 20. And as I did say earlier on, the... Uh, the class 20 does spawn in the um, in the timetable mode which is good 
Um, I'm going to have to be up early to check that the PC's all right. What I'll do tonight before I go to bed, I'll completely disconnect my network. The 20 is awesome. It's one of the... I've got to say, along with the 31, it's awesome. I did know that he wasn't um, having anything about the... Um, he wasn't replying to anything, basically, as to why the... Why the 31 wasn't available to play uh, on the on the, with the 20 sort of thing, where... Sorry, the 20 could substitute in on the 31 services. He wouldn't answer into any of that. God knows how many times I've watched it. The 20? 20 can handle anything. Their native home was Scotland. Should just need to check. Thirty-seven had rail freight on it, a rail freight livery uh, logo. Yeah, Matt, he, he wouldn't say that. He, he, he did, he did quote a couple of me and mention me a little bit. Um, Some of the stuff I did say about, but yeah. The bit about the 59, he said, said the the 59 isn't wasn't made by the um, uh, related to the Western, and I said yes, it was. Because I spoke to, years ago, I spoke to Colin J. Marston, um, who hopefully you know who's a who's a big author, and he. Had, Colin J. Marston lives down in um, he's a railway author and he lives down on the at Timmouth or Dawlish and he posts quite regularly on Facebook about all the trains that go through there I know I'm going too fast and I got chatting to Colin a few years ago over the phone I actually ordered one of his books that are out of print and um I was, he was telling me all about um, he was one of the guys that went over to Canada or to America when they built the first four Yeoman Class 59s and he was one of the first guys to learn how to drive them at the time he was working with British Rail Hi Enter Name and um he told me that the 59 was based on the design of the, the Class 52. I think Matt kind of got the wrong end of the stick where I said it was based on the it based on the 52. He was obviously thinking I meant the engine and everything. I was like, no. Oh, cool. Cheers, enter name. Well, I'm not going to get a very good score for this, am I? Today's stream. Yeah, the, he had the, he was streaming on the Great Western Express route. And he did the HST drag, drag, drag line or whatever it's called. The thing is, is that I thought something was a bit weird with the, with the scenario because from, from the get-go, there was a lot of traffic on there. 
and towards when we got to before we got to Acton there was a few sidings with uh, wagons and that in them and I was like I don't remember them being on the PS4 version am I excited for TS w t t uh, Train Simple 2 yes I do look forward to it and as I mentioned in my last stream on when was it on Thursday night I will be running a competition where some lucky one on my Discord server can win a copy of Train Sim World 2 in a competition. Obviously on the platform of your choice. So if you're not on the Discord server, and I can't give you the link because it's not on this laptop. So wait till... Uh, oh crap. Wait till uh, Nightbot pulls his finger out and publishes it. Yes, I've, I'm quite looking forward to the AC400. Oh, AC4400, sorry. I don't think we're going to do very well on this. No. 754. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that... Oh, 755. I can do that one again at some point. Right, I want to get off this. I don't have a code. No, this will be out of my own pocket. And it's kind of a thank you to you guys getting me to where I am at the moment. So there will be a chance to win a copy of it. Um, but it'll be on your... It'll be on your uh, platform. Details on that, more so to the time. So, um, yeah. It's the same old thing with them. I, that's a very bad word, multiplayer, because I don't really believe in it. I'm not going to do this bit. I'm going to let that do it itself. I want to go exploring. I'm heading over this way somewhere. Where are we? Uh, okay, so there's no 20s in there. Oh, let's go have... I think they might be 37s. Yes, that's that's what it, the competition channel on the thingy is. But the competition, if you... I don't think you can post in it on Discord now because I've, I've, uh, I've made it read-only. I can hear those twenties chirping away in the background. Look, how good is that? Multiplayer, to be honest, and a name multiplayer. For all I care, I hope it doesn't turn up. I don't really want. Mo I think I've gone too far, haven't I? That's the main line over there. I'm not multiplayer. Doesn't interest me one bit. Well. A, you've got to be subscribed to the Discord channel. Oh, that's a pair of 37s, look. Um, it will probably be digital copy. But because I can't gift codes, I can't gift it as a code to someone. Or their PlayStation. Oh, I don't know. I might be able to. I'll have to. I'll have to have a look at it. Have a more in-depth look. Right. So there's no. There's no thingies here. That's a bugger. Um, then it, what I'll do is I'll do a twenty-five pound voucher, and then basically I'll ping the codes over to you. What you do with that voucher after that, whether you get Train Sim World Two or not, is entirely up to you. Obviously, if yes. Obviously, if it's um, a PC user, then I can gift it to you. No, I don't think you can. Um, right, so that's that one done. Um... What I am going to do, I'm still going to do one on here. I can gift on Xbox. Yeah, I don't have Xbox. Um, oh, someone's gone. Don't have Xbox. <laughs> you don't have Xbox. That's it. I'm leaving. 
yeah, well, <sighs> yeah, we all know what he's going to do with them. I'm not. I'm not asking codes from Dovetail. I'm. Do, this is do, this is off my back. This is my gift to. It's a competition, and occasionally I will do competitions. It's you know, it's me to say thank you. You guys have got me at the moment where I am. Yeah. So it's my little gift. You know, there'll be the odd giveaway or something. It's not going to be an easy one. Trust me. Oh no, it's not going to be an easy one. <laughs> you don't get it that easy. Um, right, so I'm going to do 31. And I want to see if the 20 appears. Do you want it rain in the summer? Or just plain old what's it? Right, so there's a Discord channel. So if anyone watching want to subscribe to the Discord channel with a chance to win a copy of Train Sim World 2020, it will be a digital copy then sign up and now details will be announced more to the time um yeah i could do probably i don't know because it usually takes about an hour we'll see we'll see we could even be a, uh what do they call it a scenario um there's a worse ignored job to do at some point no rain no rain wetness no snow level in the summer you've got to be joking Cloud levels, bring the cloud up a bit. Or would we like it? I tell you what, how about a bit of summer fog? Autumn mist. How about that? Bring the cloud level back a bit. Bit windy. Nice bit of coming off this old North Sea. Right. So. Um, bum, 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 bum. TGR to Eastgate. Where's Eastgate? I don't really want to... Oh. Let's do... East TGR to Eastgate. Drop off. That's the same one, isn't it? That's what, that's what I want. Take over this loaded cement train at Darlington and continue it to TGR. I know I've done this one before, but we'll do it again. For quarter to three in the afternoon. Um... Yeah, I'll I'll have a look. So we're going to do a couple tonight anyway. It'll be on probably about to about twelve sort of thing. So yeah, it's just like you know I've broken my toe. Not much else I can do. The original thing was I was going to do some videos for Train Sim World uh, shorts, but I'm just not in the mood at the moment because basically it's a bit warm in here. Um, I just I'm just so angry. <laughs> I actually managed to break my bloody toe again, which is not good. So, um, yeah, I'm getting really arsy about it. Right. Okay, so where are we? The 31 doesn't have a dodgy horn. I don't know if we got one or two, but we'll find out in a second. Right, uh, headlights, them on. Um, ba -da -ba -dum. Stick him on. Uh, more importantly, get the AWS on. I don't know if we're one or two, but we'll have a look in a minute. That's a nice sort of sunshiny setting. I, I've got a, um, I've got an amplifier for a keyboard uh, in my streaming room. Technics amplifier, and I just got in from town, sort of gone upstairs and changed, freshened up a bit. Come out of the streaming room, and I stubbed my toe on the front of the amp, so it's recessed in the front, so it's kind of in the corner. I stubbed my toe and I broke my, my little toe, and it's very painful at the moment. So I'm sat here with it not strapped up yet. I'm waiting for the swelling to go down, it's quite swollen. So, um, yeah. It's only a little toe, but it hurts. And you don't realise how bad it hurts until you've actually done it. Um, hopefully, we've got two locos on. Have a look. Oh, yeah. Uh, I always do this. 
I put the marker lights on the rear of the locos. This is what we're missing out with with Train Sim World 2. A pair of 31s and some 20s. It's a nice setting as well. So we're going to set the... Uh, going to set the loco up. Two seconds. So you won't see the 20s come up this way. Well, I don't think on the... Uh, what you call it? I'm not sure, actually. I don't know if you will or not. Yeah. Definitely a shame. Right. Okay. So, let's get going. Stick her in first. Brakes are off. Yeah, we might even actually be able to see some 20s on the steel trains. So apparently they substitute in, so... I can't believe... I cannot believe they've not done it so the, thir the, the, the Class 31 services are substituted with the 20s as well. Why have they not done that? Well, you get a pair of 31s in, in here, don't you? You can have a single 31 on some hopper trains. So yeah, so this is this is I had to think think quick what I could call it. So because I'm streaming tomorrow night as well, it's the weekend double header. I must apologise if you hear me eating, I'm having something to eat quickly. At some point, I do want to have a look at that drag line scenario. Because there's way too much traffic in there. You will be able to still use the 31 and the 20 in any, hopefully, any DLC that you do have in Trace World 2. 
but you'll just use it in the Train Sim World 2020 version, so it'll be like the preserved version. But with that, you'll have to start over again. So you won't be level 212, you'll be level zilch. So we'll do this, and then we'll do home run on the pen corridor. do the HST drag on um, Great Western Express. I'll probably do the Long Island next um, hi expert next uh, tomorrow tomorrow because I have done that for a while actually and that's a, that's another one that um, um, no because I did one on Thursday I did that last Thursday down track one So many suggestions, yeah. I mean, there's, was it? So there's, there's rumours flowing around before the release of the twenties that Dogtail were going to extend the route. They wouldn't have done that. Ah, right. Um, I do actually do them. I do Pen Corridor. I've done the um, Oakville sub, um, and what's the other one? Um, Rapid Transit? No, not Rapid Transit, it's German, isn't it? Um, yeah. NEC, isn't it? I, I, I do, 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 do them every now and then. I mean, I'll definitely be doing the CSX ones. Woo, yes! I'll be doing them. And probably cocking them up as well.
gonna have a look on Discord while we're slowing down a bit. Oh, I might have to stop actually. Hopefully that will go yellow, hopefully. Oh dear, oh no, we're fine. <laughs> Making a model railway 20. I, no. I don't have a model railway anymore. I think you, d I think you did, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the other one, Long Island Railroad. I do do them as well. I do, I do, do stream them, but I just haven't streamed it. I think the last time I did the Long Island was uh, when the M3 was released. It's a shame that you can't access this anymore. This is where the you had the rollers to to do the um, head code. Right, yell at me if we see if you see a, um, a class twenty. Oh, class thirty-one extended range trophy just received. So I'm getting the trophies today. Two the blokes in the blocks. Jack's back! Jack's back! Hello Jack! How you doing? Brad, if you're still watching, I was a bit late in trying to get hold of that thing that I wanted to buy. It sold out. So I've just got to wait till later. I'm going to start to slow down because I reckon that's going to be a red. Oh, no, no, no. That's it, I'm screwed. Oh, bollocks. Hold on, I, I wonder if it does it. You say something about uh, the spad? Okay. I think what you forgot to say was um, Magic buttons. I 
can't help it if their software is so bloody glitchy. Yellow, that's good. Clock strikes fifteen hundred and two. Come on. Going half speed because I know I've got a yellow, so it might even go into a red. I know there's a class 20 or a pair of 20s about half past four at Thornby Depot. Any time after that, I have no clue. That's another. That, there we go. We're hitting Eagles Cliff next. I'd like to carry on going straight. But yeah, it ain't gonna happen. So no 20s have been seen yet.
Oh, nice. Yes, you do see it on there. Um, I think when I was running a service, um, I saw the MP15 running. Oh, this is going to be a bit painful. Um, for me, it's actually running on the main line. So I thought, that's the Amtrak switcher. I was like, what the hell is that going in there? But no, it was the uh, the MP15. Yeah, that does run from time to time. Normally parked up on the in the siding somewhere. Come on, drop down to 15. No, that'll be 30, pair of 37s. That'll be the sh that'll be the shunter, and that'll be a 37 as well. It's stopping. Why are you stopping? Yeah, I don't hang about. Yes, yeah, so there's the 37, there's a the Shanta, there's the 101. I have seen a 31 parked over here. nice that the yard looks a little bit busier now but it's a shame that they haven't put any like what the odd wagon dotted about so if you haven't seen and this is what the uh the limestone limestone hoppers look like the 20s are usually parked here but the 31 i've seen parked over there so this is the pga hoppers the new limestone ones nice of course I found me personally I found out about TSW through playing train sim uh, and I thought to myself well that looks nice on the PC thought oh don't have a PC strong enough to take it so I thought oh I wish it come out on console three years later but boom and it's out and here I am. I play Train Sim World more than what I do Train Sim. Why? Because I I feel more immersive in Train Sim World because you can actually get out, walk about, uncouple, like actually really going out to uncouple sort of thing. Hello, I'm back. How are you, Bradley?
<laughs> yes. What do we get? Oh, we don't get a gold because I've done it before. I've already got a gold for it. Level 19 on the Tees Valley. Level 20 on Tees Valley and I get a... Um, I get a... What do I get? I get a, uh, I get a trophy. Legs in pain. How the hell did you manage to hurt your leg while you were asleep? That's beyond me. They won't do that. They, they, they will not be adding anything else... To train sim world 2020 i think the only thing that will be ad added is updates for stuff that is broken or needs updating i.e as in the br204 the german shunter that's it so nothing else will be added um This is what I like about Trains in World. Literally, can you? You can't get under there. Okay. I'm not going to carry on with that, don't worry. And the other decent thing is as well, is that you can just get in the shunter up here. Um, I don't know. Which one am I going to sit in? Is it this one? So, another 15 minutes, I've got to wait for this. But I don't have to, I just go then. I just disappear and secure. And... So that will, in theory, start messing about on its own. So Dispatcher literally takes over. So there's nothing over there in the uh, Dubri, is there? There's no 20s. That's annoying. That is bloody annoying. So, yeah. Usually this yard would be full up with vans and freight wagons and everything. So they haven't got it quite right. Right, so what have we got here? Uh, won't be added. No, I think they'll re they won't. Well, if they reuse the routes and they release them for twenty four ninety nine, then they have to add all the other locos for it, the DLC. They have to because people will kick off if they have to buy the... Um, Tees Valley route and then have to separately pay for the 31 and 20 they will kick off no 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 Bradley 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 we are off to the um, we're off to the uh, west side of the states um, they've obviously got well we'll know about a week before launch what the um enter name whereabouts are you um are you in the states or are you in the uk or europe or uh, australasia oh you uh you you're you're peeking around on the northern trans pennine yeah but you think both rapid transit northeast corridor have had updates. Great Western Express. You're in California, born in Redwood City. Excellent. Are you in the Bay Area? Absolutely brilliant. Local line. Carl, you're in, oh, Carl, you're in NYC. Oh, bloody hell. So we have. We're hitting America. That's good to see. It's good to see. Excellent. I like that. So we truly have a bit of an international feel. We have Roan from... Um, Netherlands and you two guys from the States and I believe when um, Another guy he's in uh, he's in the States as well. He comes on from time to time So yeah, that's brilliant um, Penn corridor wasn't it? home run i did the cab card the other day didn't i cruising the bay um i 
What we got? Yeah, you got a couple of GP38s. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Um, we'll do early riser. No, we won't. Bay Area Breakdown. My God, that's a mouthful. Right, let me open that blind. Sun setting here. Oh. Still a bit of sunlight left. Yeah, I like that. Cause it's the typical scenario where something out of the ordinary happens. The train breaks down. And then you just run it back, which I quite like. So you run out and then run back. Welcome to a very hot summer at San Francisco. Take over a service from the previous driver. Try not to get myself mudded when I fall off the seat. And obviously, off the platform, sorry. Obviously, in real life, these things, they've got vinyls all over them as well. Advertising vinyls. And it's not only the baby bullets that you can get on them. You get the um, other ones on them as well. So you get you get them on them. <laughs> Does it? I think I've seen these with uh, advertising vinyls on as well. Right, let's get going with this one. I do like these, and it's a shame that they basically not added these to the Oakville sub. Really disappointed with that. Right, climb aboard, sit in the engine driver's seat, set the engine run, which is standard for everything, which is up here. I might as well stand up and bloody do it, haven't I? Set the cut off valve to passenger. Um, insert the reversal handle. Reversal handle. Unlock doors. Bing bong. I've done it again, haven't I? So why have I not... Strange. Yeah, and the other thing is as well, the, the ones on the Oakville sub are about 12 coaches in length from the, the videos that I've seen. This is, this is the thing that I say about Dovetail. They go so far, and then they stop. I, I can't understand why they didn't primarily... I mean, they said they primarily focused on the, um, on the freight side of it. But why not do the whole lot with the passenger side? It would have been a lot better. And this is what I don't really understand their thinking. Oh, we're only going we're, we're to do a little bit, and then that's it. Keeps them wanting more, but they don't ever fulfill on that and then and that's where they f fall over I, I mean i was saying on discord last night about about this this thing with the editor uh, i think my um mod ben he posted um something basically saying the editor is not coming and that's it see it's not edit oh now we are set the automatic brake to release 
So far, they fishing basial, so we've got four and a seven mile. So, that, you know, they're not releasing the editor, that's it, full stop, end of, get over it. And I think I said on there about, at the end of the day, all this fiasco with the editor and multiplayer is has basically come to bite them on the arse, because they kept on and on and on. This is the baby bullet, I can't remember what the loco is. Enter name or Carl can let me know. Um, it, it's 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 not so much that. It's that the problem being is that they've turned around and said, "When in this video they released, yes, you'll be getting this 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 editor, blah 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 blah." And then two years later, they turned around and said, "You can't have it because basically." We go. It. We. You're gonna need to use the Unreal. You need to have a copy of the Unreal Engine, and you need to have our version of our apps that we use, so you can use the editor. Um, and that's taken them two years, or well, just over two years, to say that, to mention that. And all in that time, when people have been mentioning about the editor, they'd be saying, no news, no news, nothing to say on it. And, yeah, I can understand about the licensing and everything, and, you know, but they've, they dropped the ball on that one again because they did not tell from the truth from uh, six months down the line after they showed the video. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's a bit of a problem because you'll need the the use of um, a fully licensed version of the Unreal Engine to play the game. It has to be updated. You also need our apps to use it. We can't give you the editor. Sorry, but we're going to be working on something else. That would have been a lot easier than what they've got now, where you're not getting no editor. They've explained why, but it's two years too late. Do you see what I mean? You know, and a lot of this has been firmly dropped and can be firmly placed on their door because they're not being open. And I can understand where people are pissed off about it. Yeah, which is fair enough. And, you know, DTG did say there's going to be the editor. Here's the editor. Look at it. But then people started saying, well, what about the consoles then? How how the how is the editor going to work on the consoles? You know, and then I was thinking, I kept saying to myself, they will not release it or a version for the consoles. You just cannot do it. And then, rightfully, what Sam said a few weeks ago in a post when he first started as community manager, temporary, interim, whatever you want to call it, he said basically they have to cater for the console market as well. So. A lot of this, I don't. I'm not worried about blowing horns or anything. I just don't care. You know, the barriers are down. The traffic ain't going to go through. Um, I hate the bell as well. So, from the outset, when they said, or they, they've, they, they, they've known about this. Obviously, the problem with the editor. So why have they not done anything about it until they, they said about Trains in World Two. So, you know, I know, I know Sam's trying to, you know what I mean? He's trying to sort that out. It is, Carl. I don't oh, the bell's doing my head off. It's like Quasimodo and Esmeralda. Oh, we're going full. So a lot of this can be brought down at, Dovetail, uh, at Dovetail's door because they're not being open enough and they're not being truthful to the community. But, having said that, the community are a bunch of shits. Because now they're being told that they can't have it. They're just being right little, which I can understand. But the community are shits. 
the, the, to the community is so toxic, you know? There's always going to be someone that's going to basically disagree with everything. Oh, come on. Oh, that's why I had the brakes on. Duh. Basically, it's on, it's pinned on the um, it's either pinned on the top of the platform wibble uh, channel or the Train Sim World 2020 Train Sim World 2 channel about um, Dovetail Games. have turned around and said there is no editor, not now, not in the future. Um, and that I haven't seen that post before so Ben my the moderator he posted it um, but it's just my, my thoughts on it I mean a lot of it can be placed like I said at Dovetail's door because they've caused this no 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 editor Th people are getting mixed up between a planner a scenario planner livery editor and a full-blown root editor and content where you can create content creator. Um, you just sound the horn, Bradley. If it's the 20s, you sound the horns. And it's certain numbers that appear on Trains in World, on the Tees Valley or West Somerset that the horns are knackered. There's still going to be the scenario planner and the and the livery editor for Train Sim World uh, Two, but there's no editor. There's no editor, as in the um, as in you know the full blown root editor, root creation editor, where it's got all you. But you know the editor like what Train Sim has. Nice. But I'm just discussing that a lot of the problem here is down to down 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 to dovetail not being open, and it's now come to bite them in the ass. And they're going to get a lot of people that it's just not going to trust them anymore. Yes, the scenario planner. The head end power has failed. Focus on getting to Milbray and you can investigate the fault when we get there. Marvellous. Oh, what the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, he was playing a lot with his chopper. Um... I mean, Dovetail has a bit of... Uh, they have a, you know... They're not going to apologise for it. Because in their eyes, they've done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, Sam, you know, where they got these question and answer settings, you know... And that, I think, is why Matt looks so uncomfortable in the question and answer um, session on that Thursday, on the just after the release of 2020, 20, uh, Train Sim World 2. Why have you left them? Um... Oh, I left ages ago. Oh, it's go via, isn't it? Oh, she's not very happy, this one. Come on. This train will be terminating at Millbrae. So we've got a couple of GP38s in the distance.
But I don't think these move, do they? They're just static. See, this is what I would like to do with the scenario planner. Is it very loud? So we can place rolling stock around the place. Oh, here he comes. See, these are only six coaches. The ones on Oakville are uh, 12 coaches. Enjoyed that fly pass. Thanks for flying Hensis Rail Airlines. Yeah, that's it. A lot of I've, I've heard so many people complaining about everything. Oh, you do realise I'm doing a ton of the dozen here. Um, I was only on there about a week and a half and I just got, no, get off of it. There's so many people complaining. Oh, something wrong with Adam Thompson's thing. It's not my Microsoft thing, it's there. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Can't be asked. Um. So, I mean, what what are my hopes what I could do with the scenario planner as a disclaimer my hopes are probably way high than what you could actually do with the scenario planner I know that you could place consists pre-made consists obviously what they use from the in the game So, like this, consists like this. You can put them... That would be choose a consist, and then you can, like, where do you want it? Put it there. What with? Loco and that. So it'd be interesting to see how they do it, whether they do it with a crude track diagram of the route. Oh, nice. Is that the one with the uh, mask on it? Cheers, train spotter. Yeah, that is that is the problem. That is the problem. People will just create accounts. They don't like them. They'll just create accounts just to argue and say, oh, it's crap. You know, rivet counters. Can't stand them because they're just the worst toxic people out. I do like driving this. And this is what I like, seeing, like, as you drive past the railway, you see, like, wagons and, or coaches, or just other trains onto the sidings and that, yeah? What you do in real life, you, you go past stuff like in Great Western Express, in the sidings, there's nothing. Well, on the PlayStation, that is, as I found out looking at Dragline, which will be coming next. Ah, right, okay. Well, the 66, the two 66s and the um, 701 unit left Weymouth 
uh, early this morning. Go back to Eastleigh. That will be down again probably the end of next week. So I'll get some more footage of that. Really? Yes, 8008 is, is celebrating being the train bow again, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, it'd be great. I'm not worried about... Um, perfect scenarios what what I would like to do is with the scenario planner is during the week I would like to make a scenario or a service or over a couple of weeks sort of thing on the um, train team world 2 and actually use it in one of my streams so to speak So to me, that that kind of brings up a couple of more things. So I could I could work on it for a couple of weeks and say, okay, guys, got a special one tonight, one of my own created ones. What do you think of it? I've already got a number of... I know it sounds really weird. I've already got a number of, like... I, I'll call them scenarios. I've already got a number of scenarios pumping around in my head what I could do on, on at least one of the routes, possibly two. Is the uh, train noise too loud or is it just about right for you? That's enough of the bell, it's doing my head in. That's nice. Yeah, I'll be looking at the ice one. I've still got that cab ride to look at. Come on, you lot. Hurry up and get off. This train's terminating. I just wanted to do that, sorry.
Passengers off the train, try to focus getting the head end power back on. Come on then. Yes, the doors closing are quite nice on that. So what am I doing then? Attempt to reset the head end power. Which is that one. Looks as though the engine is uh, uh, overheated and has failed completely. This train will be taken out of service and diagnosed. Our closest inspection sergeants will be San Francisco. What about those ones over there? Oh, that's a dark one, isn't it? We can't use those. Sit in the engineer's seat. Oh, there's a bloody cut-off valve. It's there, isn't it? Shut down cab, remove the reversal handle. Change ends. Uh, what about the lights? Did I bother about the lights? Might have to get back in here again. Which one is the lights on here? I like flicking buttons. I think the best thing to do is just like... No, it won't be that one. to the engine room. Oh, I'll be this one up here then. We'll have them. There we go. Oh, we can't even defrost. Oh, can't even defrost the windows. Okay, that's cool. Cheers. Didn't know that. Hey, we got a set of red lights. Look at that. Someone listed the, um, who was it? Was it someone on the Discord, our Discord server, where they listed the, uh, they got a bug with the Class 20, because the horn was sounding knackered on it. What I, d I do like the little marks and the grimes and everything on here. That's cool, that's cool. Is that the headlights? That was you, Jack, yes. So in case you are, are unaware... Um, certain numbers of the Class 20s have been issued with a horn that's knackered. So some will have the right horn, other ones will have knackered horns. You didn't mention it on this Discord? I'm sure you did. That's where I got it to.
I like that horn. Oh, Bradley. Let's all do it. Oh, Bradley. Because he's spadded. Um, where's the strobes? Headlights on. Cab light, no. Number lights on. Come on. That's all she wrote. Behind me, out on the circuit. Cab lights, strobe lights. There it is. Oh, let's have a look at them. Do you want to see a strobe light, do we? Let's have a look. Right, let's set our position up as well. I think that's a bit loud. That bell's doing my head in. <laughs> Told you the bell does my head in. The bell says my router, the bell sorry. Um let's do the other end. That does look nice. That's this is one of the nicest this is one of the better uh, DLCs as well. This is why I use the Peninsula Corridor a bit more than what I did do, because of this. Breaks the release, off you go. And we're off. What door? I closed the door already. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, what well, I remember. So, 12 miles. 119. It's quite nice to drive these actually. Oh, did I just, um... Oops. That's me sightseeing again, isn't it? Ah, yeah, you are supposed to stop, though. It's not, Jack, it's not uh, invisible light. It's a little thing that's in the... Uh, between two running lines. And you actually stop you have to stop and then you you can go again That's all Jack wrote. <laughs> I like it. Oh my god. 125 through Reading. Quite surprised you didn't come off.
can't remember if we see any more trains coming up or not. Good God. Right, let's get her up to 70. I can't remember my first spad. It might have been at Penn Station, actually. I find this one easier to drive than the other loco and uh, cab car. Oh, bit of pop-up. Yes. Oh, nice. So we're going to do Great Western Express next. Ow. I just hurt, I hit my toe. Um, ow. And we're going to do the um, drag line HST one. I don't like that cab car, the other one. It's horrible. Goodbye, cruel world. I'll get back and do my job, shall I? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Great Western Express is a lovely route. It's what it's literally. I know it's what nearly eighty miles away, but it is ooh, six, seventy odd miles away. It's literally my local route on Trains in World. I think it's actually more closer than what the Brighton to... Yeah, it is. Actually, it's about the same. About 80 miles away. Run past. It's kind of annoying because there's not a lot of um, traffic about. Jeeps. And the annoying thing is as well, you don't get to use any of these wagons. They've just been spat on there, doing nothing. The same with the GP38 over there, it just stays there. What the hell?
Oh, for some strange reason, the chat's been disconnected. There's a surprise. Anything else has gone wrong today? Oh. Guys, I've lost the chat. This laptop doesn't like chat on YouTube for some strange reason. Oh, now it doesn't even found YouTube. That something happened yeah someone said in the finance office said whoa you're giving them too much make them pay for it Guys, comments. I'm not read. I'm not being able to read them. They're not coming up, so I can't read them. Um, as I said, YouTube's been a pain. Chat's disconnected again. I don't know, it's a problem with YouTube chat. Yeah, this laptop, because it's wireless, it doesn't like... After a while, YouTube just plays up with it. It doesn't... It'll still do the stream, so I can see what I'm doing. But for some strange reason, chat just, be keep, just keeps becoming disconnected. So, back with the old... Uh, oh, I've got to slow down a bit, haven't I?
back with the old YouTube chat again on the thingy. Well, oh, that's still going on. Get the old password in. Major technology problems today. Major technology problems. Right. What did you just notice, Jack? <laughs> now you know why you drive electrics. Yeah, same here, Jack. I was hoping for Great Western Express DLC. I can't re can't believe that they've not done any DLC for it. Maybe they are developing a Great Western Express route. You know, because he did acknowledge today in the stream that he said the route would have to be totally rebuilt because there's so much done to the route, which we all knew, well, which I knew. The starters, there's a tunnel down through Acton Yard. There's an extra bit of track on the Heathrow Junction. There's loads of, um, and Jack will tell me about that as well. Jack, there's there's extra sidings for the Elizabeth Line emus dotted around the line, isn't there? My Wi-Fi is a potato. Like I said, tonight, before I go to bed, before I go to sleep, I'll just disconnect all the wires, just basically take everything out of the router, leave it overnight. Um, that will just take all the static out of it. Sometimes it is the static that causes problems. And then tomorrow morning I'll look at the PC. I hope it won't affect the stream, but tomorrow night. The streaming will probably be tomorrow night, to be honest. Okay, so I stopped three yards short, really. See that it all went well, okay. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, man, 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 man. Right, let's just control and function five. That. So I've still got Firefox on the laptop instead of Chrome. I know. Well, I've done this scenario before, but. But yeah. Ho hum. Right, let's just. Let's re click that. Let's see what happens. Right, okay. Back to the good old Great Western Express. Mozzarella Firefox sounds like a pizza. Mozilla Firefox, yes. Hmm. Right, okay, so. Actually, if you look carefully, where is it? Dovetail Live, go into Mastery. Great Western Sexpress. That needs to be changed now. Yes, Jack, get on with it. <laughs> Move. <laughs> 
if you look at um, where is it western finisher tier two top one complete five scenarios yeah i've done all the scenarios done all the scenarios oh my god carl that needs to be rectified right let's go and get that ready i'm just going to uh, disappear i need to, um to take a call of nature but i'll do that and set it up at the same time scenarios 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 drag line that's what we want hst has been taking our service ready to do technical issues right two seconds i'll be back i'll be back oh i'm getting too old speed trains coming out of London has developed a fault and terminated here at Reading. The train needs to be towed back to the old Oak Common for repairs. We've called you off your brake to be the driver of this rescue move. A Class 66 is being brought out of Reading Depot, just to the west. Meet the locomotive when it arrives in the station. Reading already. Right, let's head over to platform 14, shall we? Do some of the long calling at all station class 166 journeys. Right then. Okay, let's uh, tackle this. Um, again, I also asked, uh, excuse me, excuse me, move out of the way. I also asked um, uh, in the stream as well, why the uh, 60, why you couldn't start the scenario at Reading Depot in the 66 or next to the 66. So it would give you a good introduction to using the 66 as well, sort of thing. But no, that got ignored. So if we check on the map here, there's a 66. So why couldn't you start there? Start the loco up and get it running. Look at all that potential there. All that potential, you just don't use it. So according to this, this route is really busy. But while we're waiting for the 66, shall we go and have a look at Hackney Yard? Let's see what's in Hackney, shall we? Absolutely stuff all, look. Nothing in Hackney. Hackney? Acton, sorry. I'm thinking about Hackney as in um, the cod. Nothing in those sidings either. It's a joke. Right, well, that's the case, then I'm not going to do that. I've already answered my question. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I know, but it's licensing, isn't it? I'm not going to do that. I'll just do a run in a HST. Do you want to, I'll tell you what, we'll have a 66. Shall we have it from Acton, or shall we have it going to... From Acton to Reading, or Reading to Acton? What ones you want? I'm not going to do 75 minute scenario to find out what I just know that it's not changed. Um, I've done all the journeys. 
so we're going to do a 66. We're going to do the loud 66, which I think is that one. Yep. Summer. A little bit of snow, a uh, cloud, a bit of wind. Acton to Reading, but it's not your choice. Reading to Acton. Uh, interesting, interesting. Four Echo Bristol Terminal to Felixstone North. Well, I've I've not done that. What's that one? Grain Grain. That's the F. Oh, container wagons. I've not done those yet. Let's do eleven oh one terminal Bristol terminal Felix. There's more traffic on this route in real life than there is in the game. Reading to Acton. So we're doing Bristol terminal to Felix Stone North. Right, I'm just gonna go next door get some water. That should work. Come on, yes. So I've just gone next door, and we're still waiting. Get some water. Oh, lovely. Right. Um, AWS it. There she is. Um... Yeah, we don't get it here. I don't think it changes colour even, does it? No, it doesn't, does it? I did, I did see on the... Um, on the um, actually, I tell you what, we're still going to do this one for Echo Oscar three. Not that I don't think it um, it matters. Grange near you. Oh, cool. Remember for Echo zero three. Because I forgot to do what I should have done. Yeah, for you, for those wondering, well, I thought he was doing the HST drag. I don't need to do it because I've seen where there's no wagons or anything at the uh, at Acton, so I know there's not going to be any there. There's going to be no mad trains magically turn up. So what they've done, they've they've magically done the taken out the scenario. All the state, all the static trains, and the and the and the um, it's one whiskey fourteen, isn't it? Yeah. They've taken out all the uh, the static consists out of the Xbox and the PlayStation versions, and all the they they dampened down the traffic, the AI traffic as well compared to the PC version because the PC version I noted straight from the get-go it had a fair bit of traffic on there more than what the PS4 version had nice nice right okay to so come out of that yes and then we should have more services I did notice there's some guy that actually asked on the on the um, in the stream saying how can you get the extra services for the PlayStation and Xbox? 
the extra 166 services and the extra HST services. And Matt turned around and said, you can't get them. There isn't any. And I just put in the link to my video on it. I said, you can get the extra services by doing this. <laughs> and then some other guy turns around and goes, oh, I found out how you do extra services on the... Um, on the Great Western Express. And I was like, yeah, you just watch my video, you little shit. <laughs> oh, man. There's some people about. Right, 66 then. Oh, we're summer, aren't we? I know, this is why I forgot to do it, so... That 66 looks nice. Apart from the, the, the bit of the number on the cab side. It's a bit crap. The body side, sorry. Um, Alright, so we're going to do that one. Full Echo Oscar 3, wasn't it? So we're a box jockey. EWS does look nice. The DB livery looks okay, but it just kind of reminds me of German trains all the time now. I mean, call me a liar, but I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, a, an EWS or, or DB plus 66 and a route and a GB route at any time soon. <laughs> as DLC right okay shall we set her up again properly this time um tail lights on no tail lights get off come on Cab lights off. Ah, wrong way. Not even that works. It's ridiculous. I bet you just put tail lights on up here. For fuck's sake. Okay, I just went out the door. Hope you're not getting too travel sick doing this. And it should not be on here. No. No! Go away! That we're right. That does look... I'll tell you what, that looks quite nice. How come it gets noisy when I open the door? Okay. Right, set the brakes. Um, put these on. Don't forget, with these, you have to set them to on.
and change your mind. Great West Express is a lovely route, I have to admit, but they just they just neglected it. So five bar. See all this let it get sorted. Okay. All this basically, you could have been doing this while waiting for a train, waiting at the lights here to get a green to go into the station up here. Because that's the way it would have travelled. Up through here. And I know padding to, uh, Reading's a lot busier than what it is. And again, it's just half arse from Dovetail. And I just... Never, ever expect too much from Dovetail. Because... I, I've got the only thing that I, I have to say is that they don't really. They say, "Yeah, that's enough. That'll do. That'll keep them." Right. Um, we're ready. Brakes are done. Hopefully, we'll put away in second. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. She's on her way. Excited. Spot up. This is Jack spotting at Reading. A couple of years ago, because the wires still ain't here. I'll give him a little toot on the horn. And I'll shove it in a notch or whatever. Blue screen. Oh, where's the F1? Oh, hold on a minute. I've forgotten something. Oh, it's a bit stuffy in here. Max is uh, 75 miles an hour. Yeah, Jack, that's about right. Hopefully they'll be more open, but um, like I said, I think I put... I think actually the point, I said something about hopefully this might come to Trains in World 2, but as a modernised version, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And I think that's where... Um, we're going to go dark in a minute. Watch. About here. For some strange reason, it just goes dark. Just here, look. I'm sure it is. There we go. It's there. I don't know. It's a that's a texture issue, I think. Um, yeah, I put on that. I thought I'm not going to hold my breath. And basically, Matt said, "Oh, he goes, oh, it'll be a lot more than modern modernisation. It'll have to be completely rebuilt." And that's where he went in, saying, "You know, there's uh, Great Western Express was made at the turn of." when the electrification had like been started about eight months or so or a couple of months yes definitely i i mean i can't go i'd love to go next week i'm on holiday from thursday but i can't do it it's Right, I'm going to shove a picture on the Discord server in about 10 seconds, hopefully. This is my view. Right. So, on the Discord server, it's going in platform wibble.
Oh. It should be up any second now. There you go. So there's a picture on the Discord channel and the Platform Wibble channel of what I was currently looking driving. The laptop seems to be updating itself. Yes, it's a it is a lovely keyboard actually. I do quite like it. Um, the laptop's off to my left. The PlayStation you can see is just where the Jedi Meerkat is to the left. I don't think you'll be able to see that actually. Um, Where are we? No, you can't see it. So just off to the left of the uh, the keyboard is the PlayStation. And on there's a Jedi Meerkat. That's the TV in front of it. And the little other screen is my tablet, which I've got as a backup because the uh, laptop's been playing. Silly buggers. So I'm sure Nightbot will be advertising the Discord server any time soon. Oh, excuse me. God. They're going through Sonic cutting, I believe. I love it how you can see it moving around on the air springs. That looks awesome. I like that. Oh, wow. It actually has a red flashing light on it. But that EWS written on it. Oh, okay. Oh, see you later, train spotter. Yeah, it's going to be probably tomorrow often, tomorrow night. Put them down fast. See you later, train spotter. Right, so we're doing 70. We're probably going to stick the 70. Yep, yeah, you take it easy. I'll be up early tomorrow anyway, so hey, I've got to sort the PC out. Got to start some recording some video as well. So I'll see you on Discord if you're on there. Whew. I just realised something. I've not I've not shared the link. Right.
Right, guys, I'm going to just... Oh, one risky 140. <laughs> nice one, Jack. I'm just going to hold it there a second because she's off to uh, she's off to the land of sleep. So give me two sec. Well, give me about five, six minutes and I'll get her sorted and I'll be back, okay? Sorry, it's just I have to do it, unfortunately. I'll see you in a second.
Sorry guys, she was a normal chatty cell. Right. So where do we get to? Right. Okay. So we're back. Twenty four miles ago. Yeah, she's okay. She's in a lot of pain. Um, not much really we can do for her at the moment. Um, she just keeps taking the tablets. There's not much really you can do for people with rheumatoid arthritis, um, with um, osteoarthritis. It's just getting old. That's how it is, unfortunately. You know, some people get dementia. Some people get cancer. She gets real bad arthritis. Not much, you know. I consider her lucky because she's still got her marbles, so to speak. So yeah, you know. But now nah, she's all right. She went out last week in the wheelchair for the first time in seven months. She wasn't feeling very well today, so she didn't want to go out. So. Uh, Who, you or me, Jack? Is that you or me? That'll be me, won't it? Because Maidenhead's next. No, it's not. Twyford's next. See the cab sway? I like that. Yeah, so you got Twyford. Yes, those invisible sidings. Mm. Is that Maidenhead? I thought that was Twyford. Oh no, I've gone past Twyford. Unit in there already, look. Okay. Um, a good couple of months ago. Uh, um, trying to think when it was now. I think, actually think it was either just before Train Sim World 2, 2020, sorry, or Train Sim World. Ah, right. Better give it a good honk on the horn then. This is this is what I like about it. Look at the way it's moving about. Actually, hold on a minute. Blue screen. Ah, right, Jack. Well, I'm cool. Ah, 
Ah, this is the one where I saw the uh, what's it halfway in and out of the platform. She was stuck in there. She was stuck in there. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you know what that is? That's the uh, valve for a coupler. They get stuck every now and then, you see them. It's one of those. That's what I like. The horn is crap. Yeah, the, the 66 horn does not sound like that. I can't believe they... It, it kind of does sound like that. No, it doesn't. No, ignore me. Ignore me. Are we? Ah, right, I see. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, coach. If this was multiplayer, there'd be someone trying to... They know that you're coming this way. There'll be someone coming on the other tracks trying to, trying to cause a crash by trying to change the points to crash into you. And I just just can't be asked of that. Oh, right, I just did... Mine was a seven. I think it was. So tomorrow, one of the routes will be the Long Island Railroad that we'll do. And I'll do an M3 scenario. Um, um, no, I've done the scenarios. An M3 service, sorry. Yeah. I do, because it's been a while since I've seen them and been on them. And don't forget, they've been around since, like, phew, since when I was seven. And I'm 50 next week. There's so much potential on this route and they've just basically, they've just disregarded it. Maybe they are be building, um, um, a new version you know it'd be nice if they are with the 800s and everything but I don't know is this slow?
That's a lot of years, more than a lot of mouth. That's the other thing that I like as well. Part of the ca what we just passed, part of the cantinery um, is actually in the f in the cess between the up and down fast and local lines. Just dropping off speed a bit. Oh, nice. I just love it how a certain distance just goes, nope, no sound at all. You've never lived then, Bradley. Never lived. Never lived. I can remember my first trip on a HST. Strangely enough, it wasn't from Paul either. It wasn't even from Reading. You have to blow the horn because you never know some dickhead might be standing over the yellow line. Any ideas where my first HST was? That I actually dro um, drove. I actually caught, um, travelled on. All ah, right. Wasn't a Virgin Cross Country, no. It was a British Rail HST Intercity 125 livery, the old blue yellow, the original. Oh my god. Nor have I, Carl, actually. I've never been to America. I'd like to go sometime. When all this crap's over and done with, mind. My first HST ride was from Birmingham to Derby. And by then they were starting to turn them into uh, intercity livery. I went from I went from Poole to Reading with class 47 haulage on a cross country service intercity service um, probably you then we went from Reading to Birmingham New Street on a class 50 that was awesome. Then we went from Birmingham New Street to Derby on a HST. We went, um, we caught a bus to Long Eaton. Went and had a look around Totten or Toten Motor Power Depot. I do have a little N-gauge model of uh, HST around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, and then when we went from Toten, we went back to Long Eaton, and we caught a Saturday summertime special from... No, we didn't. We caught a 101 DMU, or some DMU, I don't know what class it was, back from uh, Long Eaton to Derby. And then we went from Derby to Nottingham on a pair of class behind a pair of class twenties in a um, in Mark One coaches. It was awesome because we had a like a second class compartment all to ourselves. It was lovely. And then we went from 
Derby. Uh, sorry, from Nottingham. Down the Midland Main Line. Into St Pancras. Um, I think it was some electric unit, I think. Or was it? No. That was down in the King's Cross, wasn't it? Um, I can't remember what we had. I think we might have had a, a 45, I think. I'm not sure. It's one of the last peak services, I think. I'm not 100%. And then we went from um, St Pancras down to Waterloo. And then from Waterloo, we went, came home on at that point it would have been a it was um one, two, three, four, six, that's an eight car one eight coach one it was a what was that it was a class 430 rep an eight car tc with two 73s on the front <laughs> so um, yeah I quite enjoyed that run nope you can run that one out and out again you can even tell your auntie five times before she gets it gets it how far are we away 6.1 miles then we're hopping over to Germany for the Ruhr signal. Um, Ruhr signal? Yes. Oh, we're passing Maidenhead. You're in a 125, yeah? Okay. So just saying that we are able to use Train Sim World 2020 routes in Train Sim World 2. So we all think, oh, great, brilliant. We can use this scenario editor. I know what I'll do. I'll shove an ice train down, uh, ICE, ICE3 train from uh, Paddington down to Hayes and Harnington. Brilliant. No. It won't work. Because... A while back, he's um, Matt said these lie, these wires are not live. They're there for show. So in train sim, it doesn't matter whether the wires are there or not, for show or not. Whether they're energized. Sorry. But yeah, these wires are not energised. You're going to do do more freight. <laughs> do do. <laughs> oh dear, I saw it before you retracted it. So you you would you wouldn't be able to use the ice three train on this route. Just saying, if we could use twenty sim train sim twenty twenty routes. Ah oh, well, I better start slowing down. I'm like, no, nah, we're okay. I'm cutting back on power though. <laughs> used to write it, yeah. Yeah, same here. I'm terrible. Um, just so you guys know, you'll probably ask me again. Um, I will be doing, when it comes out, a Walking the Route episode. So that will go after... That will come up after Walking the Route West Somerset Railway. So it will be one of the three routes. 
I don't have decided what route yet. But whatever route it is, it will take me into next year anyway. And then after that route's done, I'll be doing a walk in the route from Train Sim World 2020. Alternate again when that one's done to a Train Sim World 2 route. And then alternating again back to Train Sim World 2020. Then after that one's done, which will be about August next year, it will be uh, walking the route uh, 2, which will be the last one out of the three. By then, there'll probably be, a bit, be about one or two routes. Yes. See, this would be nice, obviously, that you have the Bakerloo line, you have underground trains running along this bit. But again, it might not work because the third rail wouldn't be energised. I know, but you could improvise. Nothing quite like a bit of improvisation. That was eight. Look how full Action Yard is. That is absolutely amazing. Who's got this on the PC? Um, they could have done. <laughs> don't stop keep going don't you stop ah crap oh well we stopped continue you can tell I use this route quite a lot don't you because I'm on level 35 with it Oh well. Let's give it the beans then, shall we? Shall we see how far we can get? Yeah, I've been past there with 59s. I've seen pictures of it with DBS 66s, the 59s in there, the Freightliner locos. But yeah, if anyone's got a PC and they have my Discord channel and they're on a scenario they're, or whatever, they're on a journey, can you just actually grab a picture of Action Yard at any time if it's got stuff in it, apart from the locos you're driving, the freight trains? And then just put it on the Discord server. Well, I'm going to see how far I can go. Normally what would happen is I'd get off, it'd go in light here, and basically 
I'd end up going round here. It would stop. So we got a yellow look already. But it will probably chuck me off just about here because it usually goes round the back of um, Old Oak. But yeah, Old Oak Common should be a lot fuller than this. Right, let's see how far we can go. It will go, you've reached the end of this, uh, what you call, area. Yeah, I can do my photos. I've got crap loads on here. That's what happens when you see me take um, go blue screen. I, I get pictures. Give them a nod. Got your train, boys. Yeah. There's not much of old oak left. I've actually come down this route in real life on a, on a tour. Oh, hello. Well, it doesn't matter I'm driving significantly over, does it really? That's another bit of route I've covered. <laughs> yes, Roan, I am. I'll be on for about another, probably about another hour yet. So in a minute, it should tell me I've reached the end of the service area. That's cool. Cheers. How far are we going to go? There you go. That's annoying, that is. But it's, it's basically... I don't know if I mean people have been driven around there. It's a little bit of route you can drive. Another hour. Oh, sorry, Bradley. Am I tiring you out, mate? That's because you've been playing with your chopper too much. So I'll tick that route off that I can actually travel on. I hate this, all this crap. This advert's put better pictures on that people have, have taken. All this stuff, you know, we, and most of us know how we action points. They're absolutely useless action points, they're known as UAPs. What do action point gain you? Nothing. I think you should be able to use action points to buy stuff. Right, so it's bollocks that bit. Yes, definitely. Um, oh crap! I didn't. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, I did say. Uh, I so want to do Ryan Ruhr Austin, but I did say Ruhr Sig, didn't I? Let's see what we can do in Ruhr Sig. Flex it on your friends. What is chopper? Yeah. Uh, what journeys have we got left to do? Let's have a look. Hagen to the math. That's a freight. Well, let's do that one then. These. It's not as if we haven't been playing Train Sim World for the past, what, how many years now? Three years, two years? And we've no idea what we're doing. 
Yeah, I'll do I'll do Ryan Rur Austin next. Because this but Hagen to Lamath, this ain't gonna take long. So I wanna do I wanna do uh, uh passenger on Ryan Rur Austin. Almost what, two PM. Blimey, it's uh, half ten here in the evening. Right, let's put the bits in. Set her in forward. Um, I don't know what I've got on. Uh, let's see what we got. What have we got on? 185. Is it a general freight? Oh, it's that one. Ah, look at that yard. How full is that yard, eh? Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic, that. DB185. Two years, I think it is, isn't it? 2018. Actually, I picked it up in 2019 because that's when it was released on the PlayStation. A bit quieter down here, isn't it? Over here, oh yeah, you can just see it there. If I go eight, in real life, by the looks of it, from what I've seen on Google Images, this bit of here is where they load long railed rail. So there's a huge, big gantry area here, and it's all done with long, long railed rail in there. By the looks of it, have a look on Google Maps. Put in Hagen Yard in the Google, 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 Google Maps and uh, yeah have a look and then if you go off up just to the northwest of Hagen Yard you see Hagen Vorhau I think it is and that is huge that's just as big as Hagen and that's another big railway yard and there's videos about that as well which is awesome oh okay didn't set that right I do like setting up my views it's just a dirty little habit I have. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't, you know. Right. Um, we got tone. I think that's it. Yeah, it was. It was released in 2018. It's released on Xbox first, though. Right. Let's go. Brakes off. Hornage. <laughs> Give it a bit of welly. Oh yeah, the yards in Tees Valley are awesome. They're still there. In, Tees, in uh, Thornaby, all those yards are still there. There's even a bridge across the yards as well. That's why you got the construction equipment in the yard. Because they're building a bridge across the whole yard and the railway. Yeah, well, if you get the answer right in the competition that I'm going to run, you you might even win yourself a copy of Train Sim World 2 on your choice of platform. Ooh, do I hear from the crowd. Yay! It's going to be a bit of a tricky question, though. you got to earn it. I'll have money for TSW2 anyway, so yeah. As soon as we get trains in World 2, they'll say, okay, when's the next bit of DLC? It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I hated this at first, this route. I love it now.
You've got a dodgy O on your keyboard. Here, have some of mine. Oh, God, mine don't work. There you go. Have some of mine. Come on, Nightbot. Let's see you kick me, bastard. Still run past. I love those wagons. It's habins. It's a shame we don't see the black MIRC 1855s on freight apart from the um, power move on this. turned it on actually but I've never yet derailed and just for the hell of it I'm just going to make sure <laughs> how many class 444 services will there be I have no idea I couldn't even tell you uh, disable junction derail is off nope it's on. I've already got the question in mind, but I need to get it sorted right. Ooh, what have we got coming down? One, two, three. It's a bloody coal train. I've been trying to get a flipping coal train in ages. I've never driven one, I don't think, in the in the service. That's a good one. That is a good one. And I will say that the moderator is allowed to take part, not the mod, yeah, the moderator, Ben, he'll be allowed to take part as well. So, Ben, if you're listening, you're allowed to take part in the competition. And it won't be an answer that he'll know either. <laughs> That's cool. I think that's the best way to do it, that basically whoever wins, obviously if it's on Steam, I can buy it and I can gift it to them on Steam as long as they have their Steam um, their Steam uh, account but if it's on PS4 or Xbox then I'll basically 
I'll buy a voucher to the thingy of £25. Or 25 whatever it is, 99 Well, I'll sort it out that way. So we're going downhill, but it looks as though we're going up a gradient. And if you think, where are we? So we started out down here, and we're stopping, we're stopping there. It's only a seven mile route, but it, it is actually longer. Jack, buy the 31. You'll love it. You won't regret it. I mean, I was thinking about asking Dovetail for code, but I'm not a known YouTuber, yeah? So, you know, like Mr. Train Sim or whatever his name is. So. No, 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 no. The, the question is, um, I'm not, I'm not giving, giving you what the question is. You'll just have to, whatever. The other thing is as well, it it will be it won't be in the the question won't be in the competition channel. It will be in a chat special channel that I will make up for it. So the competition channel will just be there just with the the, the competition pinned to the top. You can't talk in the channel. At least I don't think you can. You can't message because I've disabled it. But I've just got to get it right as though I don't cock it up sort of thing. Here we go. Warp speed max. There shouldn't be any messages in there. The only message will be the, th the one that I write about up about the competition, and then I'll pin it, and then so I'll leave it as though it's read only. That's what read only is. There's no message. I can write as a moderator, as an owner, I think that's why I think Wing Zero had a problem with some of them the other day. That I set it to read only. Now, see how that fades out, yeah? Great Western Express, it just switches off. It's like someone switched the volume on.
So to take part, you have to be a member on the Discord server. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, AJ. Well, hello there. What am I on about? The upcoming competition to win a copy of Train Sim World 20... Uh, Train Sim World 2, sorry. The number is D6512. Or 33012. Which quite often comes up in uh, 33 on West Somerset Railway. So no, that's not the question. So the competition is coming, but it won't be starting yet. So basically the competition is there to celebrate you guys being here, coming, spending your time with me. Star Wars The Force Awakened, good film. And it's also there to celebrate that I'm celebrating my 50th birthday as well. So yeah. But it won't run until somewhere in July. Start slowing down, aren't I? Episode three of what? Oh, the train thing. Car double stop. You derailed at Leeds approach. Why? Did I say the class 960 route learning unit? What the bubble car? Yeah, it's already at Swanage. I got a picture of it printed in a book. Going 25 miles an hour. Nice.
Um, they've renumbered it, as far as I'm aware, back to the other one, back to its original number. And it's in uh, green livery. It will be permanently coupled to the 117 unit and used on the Swanage to Wareham shuttles. That's if the railway survives this coronavirus outbreak. Because they're in a lot of financial difficulties. How did you break T TSW, AJ? Come on. Spill the beans. So we can no longer say you've had zero incidents. I mean, obviously you you were hopefully about for when I smashed into the buffer stop at San Francisco. Trains boy, how you doing? <laughs> Stick him on the thingy then. Be a man and let's see them. You're doing good. Oh, it's good. Good to hear. Hi, Wing. Why did you keep crashing the Class 20? I mean, they're not very strong. Guys, see if you can keep a, uh, a list of what locos, what class 20s, have the wonky horn on it. Hi, oh, Gosport Ferry fan, how are you doing? 701 spotting. Um, well, it went past today. It went back too easily today. Um, I didn't see it because it went through about 5.30 this morning. I'm on Ruhr Signaled. And then we're going to do Rhine Ruhr Austin. You got a knackered horn one. Make a note of what the number is. Oh, that's good. Glad you're okay. How do we do? Oh, we got a gold medal. Look at that, eh? Someone shout that word, Bradley. <laughs> oh, welcome to trains, <laughs> train sim, <laughs> trains, trains boy. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh dear. So I shouldn't laugh. We, we, we've all been there. Um, let's, um, hold on a second. Oh, I'm using the mouse from the PC for the laptop. Oh, for fuck's sake. I haven't got Discord on. It's already given me notifications. I'll have a look at those notifications in a bit. Right, let's have a quick go on re... Objective completed. Right. This service don't start... Oh, I better get out then. 1725. Where's she going then? So what? 
I'll shut the door. And if you don't mind waiting, I'll cross on here. I've always said that if my character gets hit by a train, then I have to start all over again. As in the services. Um, what camera? Well, I've got two cannons. I have... If I can find it. I have a Canon 400D, which is the old one, which is about eight, nine years old, which is a fantastic camera. And I have a new one, which is a Canon 750D. Which is also brilliant. And I've also got a, a GoPro Hero 7. Um, oh, well, you just... But you, about your crashing trains boy um but they're not cheap i also have a sony digital hi8 handy cam as well which still works um i've got a gopro 2 as well and several samsung galaxy phones that's it dab 500 comments, come on. It's not going to beat the 4,500 comments we had on Thursday, but yeah, that was a bit weird one. Oh, cheers, AJ. I'll have a look in a bit. Um, Stop at the math 105. What the hell? Is that... you got to shunt it into a side-in. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, I'm not going to do that. That'll be one to do later. Yes, Wing, it's working properly. I think it was about four and a half thousand comments I had in the end. <laughs> the only thing is my PC is not working properly. Uh, had a problem with the laptop, with the, the chat kept disconnecting, which is normal thing for the laptop because it's on wireless. And the thing that's worked all the way through it is my uh, Samsung Galaxy tablet which is brilliant and I don't use it often enough which I will be because I'll be taking it work um, uh, next week and using it as um, it's got no internet so basically I'll have to glitch it off the phone so yeah that'll be fun right okie dokie Ryan Rear Austin wasn't it always something yes mate I was looking at a £1600 PC gaming PC and I was like, I really want that, but not a £1,600 plus. I've got to think about the PS5. But I don't know whether I'm getting the PS5 with um, on release or only when GT7 is released. So if GT7 isn't released at the time of the PlayStation 5, then I won't get it. You're driving 6 Echo 48. Was I doing that earlier on? Hello, Nightbot. Blimey. You're, you're um, working properly. He's back working properly as well. Um, Ryan wrote Austin Journeys. Hagen de Wuppertal Steinbeck. Now, if I remember rightly... Oh, there is a freight driver. Okay, so what are we going to do on freight? Wuppertal Steinbeck to Hagen. Tell you what, we'll do the intermodal. I was just setting out. I'll do those at some other time. Yeah, we'll do the intermodal Wuppertal Steinbeck Yard Hagen Freight Yard. So that's the container terminal. Nightbot, you've got to make sure you set it right. And the problem is with certain people, they think they're funny. What I found, I, I haven't seen that row. Have you seen him on the on the on my Discord server? I haven't seen him all week. 
he's not I don't know if he's left or not but yeah the problem is that Nightbot you have to get Nightbot sorted right so we're going to do the intermodal Wuppertal Steinbeck yard to Hagen Freight Yard so we may be forced to wait a bit so there's the discord channel there just come up in the, in the chat with Nightbot so if you want the chance to be in with the chance to win a copy of Train Sim World 2 then for the platform of your choice so whether it will be pc playstation or xbox it will be digital only then subscribe to the channel hi aiden just sliding into the into the channel so the competition will crap it is that rain or snow hold on let me stick me head out oh it's snowing oh excellent and we've got a line okay let's um let's turn those off slap them on snap that back no back get off come on off they're on I can't see a thing. Wipers are on. Ro changed his name, did he? Okay. Question the next stream, Trains Boy, is n tomorrow. Today was double header, part of the double header weekend, part one, and tomorrow is part two of the double header weekend. Well, this sounds really quiet. Where are we? Oh. Snowing just a bit then. It's got the wrong lights on. going a bit too fast well I'm, I'm gonna be giving the underground a go and I'd, I'd I, I just hope they include the overground bits as well. The yard at Wembley. You might even see... I don't know if you can see Wembley Stadium from there. From the underground. If you can see it from the bloody... Uh, the, the main... Um, the National Rail Network. Then you should be able to see it from the, the underground. Um, so, yeah. Right, so we can whoop her up a bit. 16 miles travel. I think we're going to have green lights all the way, guys. The, sp the, the maximum speed of the TEA, TEA wagons won't be more than um, 50 miles an hour. I think the newer ones that were made but uh, hired out to EWS... And GWR, I th GWR, uh, GB Rail Freight, they can do up to 75, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Does it go past them? Um... Does it go past? Uh... Oh, shit. I've forgotten that bloody thing.
Is it Hi Kilburn? Kilburn? Yes, I did see that. He likes the Trinity. He's in a stream tonight with Matt, and he's basically saying that um, it's the immersive details of the uh, the little spinny chair, the the um, hot hot plate, and obviously the wonky horde on certain locos. Right, I need to get. I need to see if I can find a cab ride video from. Uh, from uh, wherever it starts down to Harrow, because I know it finishes at Harrow. I've got quite a few f uh, video of them finishing at Harrow, but I don't really follow underground trains. I don't see the point in them, to be honest. <laughs> and the firebell, yes, the firebell test. Playing with the fuses. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, trying to put them back. Is the loco too loud on the sound or not? I'll have a look at those Discord photos in a bit. I'll be on the phone. It'll be after the stream, so I'll comment then. Sound of the underground. The sound is fine. Cheers, that's cool. Right, let's have a little run past. What's the frame rate like? 40, I'll tell you what, 40, 45 frames a second, that's not bad. Then it drops to 36. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, the sound of the underground, yeah. You found what? So, yeah. I'll do the Hentis Railroad as well next tomorrow. Sorry, Hapstracker Rhine Ruhr. Probably might do one on Rapid Transit as well. Oh, blimey, we taking that a bit, uh, what you call it? A bit fast. Oh, I uh, just don't. I uh, just idiots. Sheeple. Bah. 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 That's all they are. Bah. Sheep. Let's follow what the Yanks do. Bah. Bah. Shock rapid transit. Yeah, it could do rapid transit. Well, seeing as we'll be driving the 425s, is it? Or 442s? I can never remember what class they are. <laughs> Get off my land. Oh, going past the uh, container depot. There, the one four four twos. It's not bad route. Adding the one, the one eight two and the double stop, it was a bonus. I mean, it's a, it's a well modelled route, but it's just again one of these routes that is well modelled and it's just pants. Hi Bradley, how you doing? Yeah, we're not too bad. We're slightly easing out of the lockdown now and uh, can't say everything will be back to normal. Probably be another year before everything gets back to normal, if it does. Judging by India with their 31,000 cases a day yesterday. Probably not. China with their 124 cases in Beijing alone. So, and America with their 
We're gonna come out of lockdown, but we're still over a hundred thousand. Sorry guys, I know you're from America, but I just don't I don't I don't think he's like our Prime Minister, he just doesn't got a clue. Right, let's whack some speed up. And yes, Brazil, yep. Yep. You've got my vote there, Kyle. He's a bit of a dickhead. Deniable plausibility. I can't see where the hell... Oh, I'm going too fast. can't see where the hell I'm going. We should be near Schwelm now, I think. There we go, we're at Schwelm. So we're on the southern section. Sod's law, there's something coming down on the green as well. Oh, God. I think our government acted too slow. We should have gone on lockdown quicker. And now they're bowing to the pressure of the media by saying they want to come out and put the distance down to one metre. Now that we've got everything set to two metres, it's ridiculous. No, you'll have to you'll have to supply your own masks there, AJ. I have to I have to buy I bought my my masks. I supply my own because uh, I catch a bus to work. There are plenty of people on the bus that still don't wear masks, and that pisses me off somewhat, as if they're something special. Yes, there are people that are ill and they can't wear them, but there's nothing wrong with these people. If they're asthmatic and then they get off the bus and start smoking, then basically they shouldn't be having a bloody... Um, shouldn't be smoking if they're asthmatic. Bastards. There's some guy when our local bus company said that the government have, has now said that the... Um, that from whenever it is the 15th to 13th of June uh, the wearing of face masks on all local buses or public transport has to be is mandatory oh I'm going downhill that's why there's some guy he put on their Facebook page well basically are you going to supply us with masks then and I was like why should they supply you with masks if you want to travel on their service their buses you have to supply your own mask and um, yeah there's a big massive argument on their page with him because people would call him a complete tosser because he said why do I have to buy a mask to travel on your bus because it's the law well you 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 he turned around saying you'll provide that he turned around and said well you'll provide me with a mask <laughs> and the best thing was some guy turned around in this thread and he said yeah he goes I'm sure they've got a few masks left that people have been tossed on the floor that you can wear <laughs> I just pissed myself laughing at that that guy got a few good likes yeah oh this was on one of my local bus uh, this is a few weeks ago on um, our, uh, my local bus company their um, Facebook page Cool. Right, 6.4 miles to go, and then that will be the end of the stream for tonight. Part one of the doubleheader weekend, which was quickly thought up, I must add, within 10 minutes. I actually can't believe I said live stream in 10 minutes, and I was actually on within 10 minutes. 
when I turn around and say let, earlier in the day, saying, yep, yeah, my live stream starts at 2, I don't make it till about 5 past 2. It's ridiculous. As it is, I've got to go and I've got to strap my little toe up now. Does that's coming up with a nice bruise? Run past. Oh, oh, hello. Run past. Bloody tree. Oh, there it is. Oh, that one just switches off. <laughs> Must be a container saying thing. Yes. In the evening, the stream will be. I'll see you later. Did I swear? Oh, sorry. I do put on my videos that they're not, um, they're not child friendly. Oh, I think I... Oh, my God. I've got to slow down. <laughs> oh, man. I'm doing 97 miles an hour. I'll be hitting 62 mile an hour restriction in a minute. I'll be up again in about eight hours time. I've got a bit of work to do. You've got to switch, make sure this uh, place to make sure this PC is okay. Great Scott. Oh, they're brilliant films. They are. I love the old Back to the Future films. Great Scott. Keep saying heavy. Is there a problem with the air in the 25th century? Well, your presence a dickhead. Yeah, reached 30 mile an hour. I've hit 82 again. Oh crap! I'm in a 40 zone. <laughs> Not going to get very good points. Hashtag. Yeah. If my calculations are correct. When this p puppy hits 80 miles an hour, you're going to see some serious shit. I love that. The thing is, though, Back to the Future was my, the definition of my childhood, though. I was 15 when I saw that. And then obviously through two and three, I was growing up a little bit. Oh, come on, guys. Stop. Not you guys. Oh, hello. What just beeped at me? Something just beeped at me in the cab. Did you just hear that? We've got a train coming in. Oh, 
Oh my god. I like Top Gun as well. Top Gun's another one of my 80 films. Stand By Me. Oh, it's an awesome film, that is. I love that. Based on a film, a short novella by Stephen King, of all people. Oh, this is nice. A couple of stations a bit busy. Yes, and I have the full series plus the films of the X Files as well. Which I haven't watched it all yet. Eighties films did rock. They were the bloody films to watch, they were. Really sad to hear about Sir Ian Holm as well, dying yesterday. Bilbo Baggins from um, Lord of the Rings fame. He's also in The Fifth ele Element. Gladiator. Chariots of Fire. Yeah, he'd aged a bit. I can't see Dick outside these windows. And that doesn't make it any better either. What does that? Oh, hello. What have we got there? Oh, that'll be the train that's got no thing on the end of it. No loco, it so it don't go anywhere. That's the road bridge. Yeah, Aliens. Oh, Alien. Absolutely brilliant film. Love that film. Ooh. I've got loads of... I've got all the Alien films. Got the uh, Prometheus. Uh, the other film after that. Then the four Alien films. Alien vs. Predator 1 and 2. Um, Predators. The Predator. Um, Predator Wonder, whatever it is. Um, yeah. No, 90s were a bit crap. Right, let's start the break. Do I get a gold? I'd expect it to be sit I'd be surprised if I got a gold. Oh, we're going up on the routes. Four veps of phase. Four four twos, sorry. Four four twos all the way. Everything else is crap. Can't really say four TCs because or class four nine ones because they're unpowered. The reps. The reps were good because basically the reps sound exactly like what the 442s do because they've got their traction motors, which some of them don't have now because they've been retractioned. Um, 
Midway Valley hype. Yeah. No, 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 no. They do not need to remake Back to the Future. Leave it alone. Classic as it was. These people that go back and remake films, no, they want to slap round the head with a sledgehammer. Don't remake films. They were made in the director's vision or the, the author's vision. Don't remake them as to what this person does. This is what annoys me with Star Wars fans where they turn around because they don't like the film, they make it in their vision. And I'm like, you just want to slap around the head. Not bad out, really, is it? A bit cold. Can you hear the ice? Oh no, I'll leave it. Let's go up here a bit. Can you hear the ice on here? What's that me walking? How awesome does that look? Yeah, can you hear that? Is that the, the ice on the, 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 the wires? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm all over the place. Oh, where am I going? Oh, I can't go any further. That's like either cracking ice or... I don't know, but that sounds awesome. Uh, what have we got down here? Oh, that's us. Right then. Yeah, that's a weird sound. That looks awesome. But at least I can walk across the bridge and not fall through it. Which is kind of cool. Right. Well, that's it then T tonight for the part one of the weekend doubleheader. Is some like a... Hold That noise just before me. Just before I spoke. It was like ice breaking or ice cracking or something. Any second now. There. Yes, guys. Right. Yes, that's it. So thank you all very much. <coughs> if you've liked the stream, please feel free to stick the old thumb up. Give a slap that down. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please think about subscribing, hitting the um, 
hitting the bell icon as well because then you'll be notified of when i go live again go upload any videos and make community posts so yeah thank you all very much and i will hope to see you to part two tomorrow night of the weekend double header um no that's wrong um yeah so thank you all very much and good night bye bye